The SCT X4 tuner can be used out of the box on your stock vehicle to change parameters so it performs better, or it can be used in conjunction with a custom tuner to load custom tunes. As I mentioned, this is the SCT X4 programmer, and you may also know them as Bully Dog. That's kind of the other side of the business on the diesel truck world. Now, SCT has been around a long time. They know what they're doing when it comes to either custom tuning. In fact, they write a lot of tuning software uh, for the OEM industry as well as for custom tuning. And they also build programmers. They even build programmers you can uh, load on a smart device or you can get a handheld unit like here. Now, why in today's world would you want a handheld unit? Let's face it, handheld units for, have been out for really decades now. You know, it started as kind of chips that you, you know, placed in your, in your uh, engine control module, your PCM, and then it turned into handheld units, and then we turned into uh, custom tuning on laptops. So why go back or why stick with a handheld unit? Well, that's a great question. And for a couple of reasons I can give you. Number one, you can use this right out of the box where you can actually set parameters uh, like uh, ignition timing, uh, like uh, speed limiters. You can turn off speed limiters. You can set axle ratios so you, you know, if you've changed tire sizes or changed axle ratios on your rear end, you can reset where the speedometer is going to react correctly. Uh, so you can do that as well as fan controls where you can turn that uh, temperature on the fan to come on sooner. Again, to kind of uh, in a high performance situation where you want that fan to start cooling quicker. Uh, so there are several parameters right out of the box without the need to change anything on your PCM or your ECM, your engine control module, that you can do right from this handheld unit. Now, you can also use this with like a custom tuner or that person that can tune your vehicle to build a custom tune for you. That's actually what we did. And then what it's going to allow you to do, you can do data logging. Uh, you can read DTC codes. And really, whether you've got a custom tune or the stock tune, you can read DTCs or your, or your diagnostic uh, codes. You can even clear them as well as do data logging. So like in my case with my tuner, he's now built me a custom tune. I can do data logging if I notice something that I don't care for, like a, an idle or maybe a, a stall once I'm coming up to a red light after, say, running 65 and hit the brakes and maybe it stalls at a red light. I can do some data logging. Send that tune to him, he can send it back to me, and I can load it with this device. So it gives you some additional capability uh, of not having a handheld or not being able to run those data logs, things like that. So I don't have to have that custom tuning software, I don't have to have my laptop hooked up, just my SCT X4 plugged into my OBD2 port, and I can do my data logging, I can save those files and send them to my tuner. Now, Let's take a ride along here. This is a 2011 or 2012 Cadillac Escalade. So 6.2 liter uh, GM LS series engine. Uh, we installed a cam complete upper end package, really. Uh, basically a displacement on demand delete. So we deleted that displacement on demand where it cuts out cylinders. Uh, and we put a, we put a higher lift cam in there uh, with some more duration. Uh, and so kind of a stage two cam, if you will, is what we installed in there with lifters and uh, push rods and new valve springs, uh, uh, rebuilt the roller rockers um, with a trunnion kit from Comp. Um, so anyway, we needed a custom tune. So we actually had a custom tune made. SCT sent us the, uh, uh, sent us the X4 and we had a custom tune built that we loaded into the vehicle. Now, what we're gonna show here is actually using that and then we'll actually show how we can also, which this is another perk, is the ability to flash it back to stock. So let's say you're taking it to a dealer and they're wanting to reflash a computer, something like that. You can flash this back to stock right here from the controller. When you get the vehicle back, load your custom tune back in it. it takes six to 10 minutes to do that. So it takes a little bit of time, but not a lot of time. And again, you can do all of that right here from the X4. One of the things we can do here with the SCT tuners is we can go into uh, gauges and data log. Um, we can say, okay, GM gasoline and so there we have live data um, and we can say start uh, record data. 
can drive this. And we can record this data while we're driving. Stop recording. Stop data log. I can go into configuration. I can also select gauge layout. So I can have more data up on the screen if I want to. So now I can see coolant tip, see relative throttle position, engine RPM, and so forth. You can also set it for landscape as well if you want to do that. We can also change it as set to kilometers per hour right now. We can set that to uh, miles per hour as well. So we can also go in here and we can go back. Stop data log. We can read DTC codes if we want to. No codes found. And then we could also clear those if we did have any that, uh, that showed up. This, this is where we could go into program vehicle. And this is where I can, I've got a custom tune in here that I'm going to load that. Um, but if I didn't have that, we could basically go into an area uh, where we could actually tell it to change things like axle ratio to reset the speedometer or to make your speedometer correct again if you've changed uh, axle ratio. Um, fan control, you can have the fans come on at an earlier time. Uh, headers you can have, so if you've added long tube headers, uh, you can allow for adjustments in that as well as uh, idle adjustment, um, RPM based sparks, so like ignition timing, you can uh, have some controls over that, and then even speed limiter. So you can set the, let's say 100 mile an hour speed limiter, you can remove that um, all from this device right here. But again, because I do have a custom tune set up in here, uh, from the tuners basically got this locked out so I can't go into those those manual adjustments because I do have a, a larger cam in here um, so we've got a custom tune that I'll load here in a second and uh, but let's actually take this for a ride in its stock format and see a little bit of the difference so we've got the stock tune loaded up in here pay no attention to the uh, TPMS flakiness going on right this second um, I assure you all the tires are pumped up. But anyway. So really the the timing really kind of falls on its face at around 5,500 RPMs. Um, and this cam should be good to at least uh, 6,400. Um, so that's one of the things we're not taking advantage of right now with that with that stock tune uh, with the variable valve timing um, we have locked that out with the comp cam system and so we're not getting the uh, all the advance that it used to get and the computer is not knowing what to do with it uh, so again it kind of falls on its face after about 5,000 rpms so at idle this thing has kind of a rough time staying going Again, you'll see here it pulls hard and then just starts falling on its face about 5,000 RPMs. I don't know if you can hear it in here, but it's got a real um, erratic lope. Um, it's not too bad right this second, but sometimes in and out of gear, uh, when you pull up to a stoplight, a lot of times it will stall out. Um, that's one of the things this tune fixes as well. This is where we could go into program vehicle. So it's saving the stock tune before it loads the uh, the custom tune in. And now it's unlocking processors, about halfway done now. Okay, so it's about done here with saving the stock data. And it's cycling the locks. And now it should go into actually loading the, uh, the tune, which, is, which it should which it should load the PCM or ECM first. Um, 
the engine control module, and then go into the TCM, the transmission control module. So it just said turn on again, which I left it on, and now it's going through unlocking processor. So now it's writing the ECM tune data, as I mentioned, the engine control module. So it's writing to that, uh, should do this, and then once it gets done with that, should go into the TCM and writing the transmission control module, both of which can be tuned. Cycling through the locks, the gauge is moved, so should be taking that. So again, unlocking processor. Now it should go into the TCM. So now it's writing the TCM, which is the transmission control module. After it's done here, it should be all set and we can uh, give it a ride. About wrapped up here on the TCM. Should hear the locks, there. the locks go cycling. Um, dash flickered a little bit, gauges moved, so should be wrapping that up and then should be good to go. Probably have me turn the key off. Now it's going through clearing DTCs. Turn key off. Continue. Tune has been programmed successfully to vehicle turn key off. It is off. So now let's see if we get a fire up. Look at there. Let's go for a ride, see what we get. Okay, here we go. Now let's give it a run. Yeah, it pulls all the way through 6,000. Go from a stop. So as you saw there, a lot of that time is just watching the percentage go up and down. Um, but the real key here is the ability to be able to tune and untune, if you will, right here from the SCTX4, as well as do the data logging and even, you know, look, look at some gauges and parameters and things like that. But really, I see the benefit in the data logging so I can send that to my uh, to my tuner, uh, as well as be able to clear DTC code. So if I have codes pop up, uh, I can clear those with this and then take care of the issue, or it can let me know what those DTCs are. Uh, this is $399 um, from SCT, and depending on which vehicle you have is going to determine really what parameters you get to to have right out of the box with the with the tuner. But really, they're supported tuners across the country can tune about any vehicle. So make sure you check them out at sctflash.com. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day and keep smiling.